What's going on, prospectors? Dig Daddy out here in the shed, bringing you another episode of Backyard Prospecting. And today I got a little special one for you. They're all special, but uh, I'm finally doing it. I've been sitting on it for way too long. Got me a big old box of dirt from Chris Hong. And uh, we're going to open this up, test it out today. Now, in the live stream, somebody had mentioned that they got a good amount of flower gold out of their dirt after crushing their tailings. So, I'm thinking we might do that today. Now, hopefully they have a little letter in here telling me, reminding me what it was that I bought. 15 gallons of high-grade material is, is what this is supposed to be. And there you go. Condensed down to one. This is their $60 package. Uh, once you buy it, they'll send it to you. Send you a couple things. 30 gallons to one gallon would have been 175 to one, 175 and a nugget bucket for 395. Maybe we'll go back and try some of those later. Uh, they also got gemstone concentrates as well. But today we're just doing their high grade or pay dirt crush, their sands. Now they're already a little bit wet, a little sugary if you will. Uh, so I don't think, <coughs> excuse me, I don't think we're gonna get down to any uh, classifying on this because all the little stuff's gonna stick to the big stuff anyways. But what we will do is like suggested, I'm gonna go through this, we're gonna get what we get, then I'll go back later after I've had a chance to dry it out We'll crush it. Focus on me, damn it. We'll crush it up. We'll come back with another video or a short or something. And I'll show you what I actually found after crushing the tailings. And see if we can squeeze a little bit more flour out of it. But again, that's going to be down the road. Today, we're just going to go through it. See what kind of gold we're going to get out of it. Uh, and then that's that. And then we'll, we'll move on to the next one next week. But for now... Let's bust this baby out. Um, it's a lot of material, so I'm not going to run it down the, the normal sluice. We're taking this baby outside, hooking up the big sluice, and we're going to power it down with that. So don't go anywhere. We're going to head outside, get everything all set up, and we're going to get to sluicing. We'll be right back. All right, we are all good to go. The water is flowing on the sluice box. We got our dirt right here. A little bit of water in there. I guess I don't really need it. All right, let's get to it. Let's start washing some dirt. All right, I'm gonna speed things along here so you guys don't fall asleep. We'll be back at the end of this leg and uh, see what we can see. Don't go anywhere.
All right, we let this run for a bit. We got the dirt all cleaned up as much as it's gonna get here. So let's turn the sluice off, take a closer look at what we got. Now I know there's a couple nice chunks of gold in there because I saw them. And, uh, probably see right now that there are some good pieces up here that got caught up on the v-map and so I imagine that means that there's going to be some more down here as well I know there's a chunk because I moved it down there when I found it and uh, so yeah let's go get our bucket and clean this out your gold baby not uh giant amounts but uh it'll probably weigh out we'll find out here shortly um once i get this all snuffered up because there's a couple floaters in here they want to run around but once i get that snuffered up i'm gonna go back and see if any floated off into the uh, tailings here um and then we'll be right back to weigh it all out so don't go anywhere all right, welcome back. We got this gold all dried up and it's ready to weigh out. Crisson gold mine, 15 to one bag is what we got. Let's fire up that scale. Yee, terror. There we go. All right, we're ready to go. Let's find out how much gold we got. On the dot, 0 0.800 grams of gold. So a little bit over three quarters, 0 0.8. Well, now it's gone down a little bit, but I like the 8.0, so we're going to go with that. Um, unless it stays here for a long time. All right, it looks like it actually decided to settle at 0 0.800. So 0 0.8 on the dot. So that's what we're going to go with. Be right back. All right, welcome back. So how about that? Chris on Goldmine, 
that was our fifth the 15 and one so 15 buckets down to one um, all right let's talk about that dirt that dirt was all that kind of sugary crunchy stuff um, quartzy really quartzy sand uh, there weren't very many big rocks in there um, just bigger pieces of quartz is what it, what it really amounts to um, but overall the gold, the dirt was pretty easy to go through. There wasn't a huge amount of black sands in there. Um, it was really hard to test up front. Couldn't classify it because it did ship to me a little bit wet. Um, but that being said, just, you know, run it naturally, pan it out. I think you'll have a pretty good time going through it. And I don't think you're going to have too difficult of a time uh, getting to it. Now, as far as... Uh, black sands magnetic sands there was a little bit down at the end there was also some pretty cool looking garnets in there um, which was a little bit of a surprise I thought this was all crushed quartz um, but apparently there's a little bit of garnet in there as well uh, lots of other little rocks uh, but mostly quartz uh, overall pretty easy to go through and uh, not too terrible not too much of a difficult level um, I'd say you probably have more fun panning it out but uh, of course that's up to you however you want to run it's up to you it's a lot of dirt um, a, a gallon of, of material so be ready to spend some time going through it unless you have a big sluice to just run it down to get it down to concentrates and then you want to move it over to something else that won't take too long but it's still a fair amount of dirt um, but overall not too bad now let's talk about that gold uh, the gold was all really nice, shiny, shiny stuff, um, looked all polished up and clean, so I'm going to assume that was probably added into the dirt. I'm not complaining because, hey, if there needs to be gold there, you put it in there, uh, that makes me happy. Um, but uh, it was all fairly uniform, except for a couple of larger pieces. There wasn't much flower gold in this at all. Um, people had mentioned that uh, I'd, you know, I'd probably find some flower. Um, I'm hoping that's the case when I go back and crush the tailings, that maybe there'll be a little bit more flour left behind in there. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how that turns out. I usually, for the review, just what I can get to as a normal prospector, not everybody has a rock crusher handy to go through it. So the gold you can get right up front, that's really what, what we're looking at. Um, and so, let's go ahead and put the sign up here. Boom. Bing. Boing. We paid $60 for this bag of dirt. Um, what we wound up finding, actually after everything leveled out, it did settle out at 0 0.800 grams of gold. Now that's going to have a today value of $50.87. And that's going to get us a return on our investment, an ROI of 84%, which is pretty dang good. Um, can't complain about that. I mean, we're, we're getting a little bit too used to 100 ROI from some sellers. Um, that's a little bit unrealistic to hold everybody to because not everybody can, you know, make money that way. Um, but overall, 84% is a damn good bag of dirt. I am not complaining whatsoever. Um, got a decent amount of gold out of there. Saw it as I was going through it, and I always like being able to see the gold as I'm going. That way I know that I'm doing something that's, that's catching it. Um, and yeah, overall, had a good time going through it. Got a good amount of gold back. 0 0.800 to add to my vial. I'd say it was a pretty good day. So, if you got 60 bucks to burn and that's burning a hole in your pocket and you want to get some dirt, go ahead and check this one out. Chris on Goldmine. This one again is the 15 in 1 bucket. Uh, so, what they do is they take X amount of material. They have a 15, 30, and a 75. Um, but they take that many buckets, they concentrate it down to one gallon. Now, that may or may not be accurate. I don't know. Um, it didn't really feel like super concentrated material, but overall, um, it still panned out, got a 0 0.08 or 0.8 grams of gold back. So no complaints there. Check it out. Uh, Chris on gold mine. Of course, I'll leave a link down below. You can check out this dirt. Uh, they got a couple other bags, like I mentioned, and then they have some, uh, like gem hunt type bags. Uh, so you can check all that stuff out. Um, otherwise, don't forget to hit like. If you're not a subscriber, hit subscribe as well. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future content. Um, but otherwise, I just want to thank you guys for hanging out here with me in the shed and out back, going through this dirt and uh, finding that shiny. Anywho, this is Dig Daddy signing out from the shed. If I don't see you out at the river, I'll catch you in the backyard.
Peace.